January 29th, 2013. We talk about uh, going home, when you return to your childhood home, what it's like. It never is quite uh, what you remember it to be. Um, it was 10 years after I moved away from Yukon, Oklahoma, uh, that I went back. 10 years later, mother got into an accident. Uh, she uh, broke her uh, ankle with water skiing and uh, was laid up and needed some help, help around the house. So it was a good excuse to go back. What was funny is that uh, I remember across the street there was a church and there was a vacant lot that was vacant all those years, uh, about the size of the football field. And uh, what they had built up, finished putting houses all the way along that side of the street. And uh, even the, the little tree that was in the front yard that we used to be able to jump over when we first moved in, brother and I, grew up to be a big, big, humongous tree. So uh, when I was traveling down the street, I uh, drove right by the house. and. and uh, Gordon had to had to laugh. He la laughs out all these years about uh, not even recognizing your own home. But uh, yeah, things things change. Uh, landscaping she did, and uh, just lost my uh, just wasn't wasn't the same. Even walking out the front door and seeing uh, the house across the street, uh, it used to be just vacant. You could see over to the next block. It is uh, it's different. Uh, room change, she made it into an office so it wasn't uh, my little room anymore and uh, just never never quite the same as one remembers when you're growing up and I spent uh, 10 years 10 years in that home so uh, it was built uh, it was built new for us uh, when we moved out of Oklahoma City uh, my father bought lot and then had the house built. So it was a brand new house when we moved into it. Uh, I remember they added on in the back. Uh, not only uh, a closet space, but they added on a bathroom on the, uh, on the master bedroom side. So it added uh, more room for it. But uh, it's my brother and I and, and uh, family, and then four. I remember my dad uh, was pretty in ingen ingenuous. Uh, that he had, uh, and this was in the day, uh, an 8-track player in the bedroom that had run, run speaker wires all the way out to the kitchen so we could actually uh, be in the kitchen cooking or whatever and be able to listen to music. And uh, I remember many mornings getting up and because uh, my mother would wake me up before she went to work at 6 o'clock and uh, I would throw in a 8-track and, and uh, kind of uh, get ready for school, jam out to a uh, journey. <laughs> Spent many, many, many um, hours in the garage and in the backyard. Uh, I remember sitting up on uh, top of the uh, top of the house. There's a certain part of the house you could uh, jump on the fence. Mike and I would jump on the fence and you could climb up and sit on that little lawn cover. You couldn't see it uh, you couldn't see it from the street. Anybody that's walking up the house, you could hear them coming up, so we could tell when people were coming up to see what was going on. And uh, I don't know, there's just uh, many, many times we just sat, sat on the roof and just kind of uh, chilled out. Uh, but uh, it's strange how we'll remember, remember things. I try to remember the uh, house in Oklahoma City. And uh, it was uh, by some railroad tracks, so I spent a lot of time. And uh, again, this was probably fourth and fifth grade. Uh, we were in the house for a couple, three years, so probably part of third, fourth, and fifth grade. And I remember spending many, many, many hours walking up and down the tracks, just because uh, uh, it was the tracks were right behind our, our backyard, and then train tracks, so it was pretty loud when it came through. I didn't, don't really, you know, like, you live there for a bit, you don't really pay attention to that stuff, but, uh, uh, the house in Oklahoma City there also had a, uh, a little, uh, kind of a mother-in-law apartment, so it was, 
was totally independent. So it didn't have a garage, but it had this little, uh, little uh, house in the back. It had this one, one room, small kitchen, little front room, uh, bathroom, uh, rental, rental unit that we rented out. I remember my grandmother, uh, Indian grandmother, came to visit us and uh, she had been elderly and stayed there and she didn't really like the city life so uh, back back to the country with her she went. But I remember uh, that house, uh, one of the uncles, Uncle uh, Uncle Lee, brother and I was taking us there the first time to show it to us because he was really excited to move uh, we go to grandma's place and into her own house and uh, he pulled up this old uh, rickety run down place and said, oh, here you are, here's your new home. <laughs> this is so disappointed. It's like, ah, oh. and he said, ah, that's not it, keep back in. <laughs> and then we drove around and we finally ended up on the uh, one on 26th, uh, 26th there. But that was, uh, I remember that so well. <laughs> I was so disappointed. It's like, oh. Uh, but uh, memories, memories. Uh, so if they say something else, but uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, amazing how you can attach, uh, grow up and 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 uh, you just remember things as young, younger, altogether different than than when you're older and, and come back to visit. But uh, yeah, there's a couple of couple of experiences on on going back to, to Oklahoma. Um, I'll leave you with uh we'll cut it short, I got a meeting in the morning, I gotta get up at four thirty. But uh leave you with a song, Ozzy Osbourne, Mama I'm coming home. That would be appropriate. And uh see see him in the concert this this tour which is pretty good. January 29th, 20, 13.